Hey Fasters, time for another video. Taking out the trash is an important chore. Imagine trash overflowing in your kitchen, attracting pests and inviting mold and bacteria to grow. It's just as important for our cells to clean themselves out and clear away debris. It's a process most of us don't think about and haven't even heard of, and it's called autophagy. All you need to do is practice a little self-cannibalism. Wait, what? Stay tuned because in today's video, we will discuss what autophagy really is and how you can fast your way to autophagy. Before we get started, my name is Christian and I've been doing intermittent fasting for 4 years now. In this channel, I talk about intermittent fasting and natural weight loss content so you can live a whole lot longer. If that sounds exciting to you, tap the subscribe button so you won't miss my weekly videos. I'd love to have you part of our community. How Autophagy Works Forget juice cleanses and detox diets. While there's probably nothing wrong with drinking your weight in liquid kale, it won't flush out toxins any faster than if you were eating, you know, actual food. The good news, yes, you can actually train your body to eat itself. And believe it or not, you want it to. It's a natural process called autophagy. And the word literally means self-eating. It's a process cells use to get rid of the damaged structures within themselves in order to turn them into newer, healthier versions of themselves. Think of it like decluttering, but for the inside of your body. So what happens is, your cells create membranes that hunt down scraps of dead, diseased, or worn out cells, gobble them up, strip them for parts, and use the resulting molecules for energy or to make new cell parts. The Benefits of Autophagy there's some evidence to suggest that autophagy plays a role in controlling inflammation and boosting immunity, among other benefits. In a 2012 study on mice, researchers found that autophagy protected against cancer, neurodegenerative disorders, infections, inflammatory diseases, aging, and insulin resistance. Another study from that year showed how a lack of autophagy could be harmful. Researchers found that removing the autophagy gene in mice caused weight gain, lethargy, higher cholesterol, and impaired brain function. Essentially, autophagy makes us more efficient machines to get rid of faulty parts, stop cancerous growths, and prevent metabolic dysfunction like obesity and diabetes. How to kickstart autophagy? So, how do I eat myself? Is a question you probably have never asked, but I'm about to tell you how. Autophagy is a stress response, so you're going to want to put your body through some hardship to drum up a little extra self-cannibalism. I know, this video keeps getting weirder, but trust me on this one. How does autophagy happen? Traditionally and historically, humans were feasters and fasters. While I don't think our Paleolithic ancestors were miserable, wretched, perpetually starving creatures scuttling from one rare meal to the next, the fossil records show incredibly robust remains, with powerful bones and healthy teeth, and little sign of nutritional deficits. They also couldn't stroll down to the local whole food store for a cart full of ingredients. Going without food from time to time was a fundamental aspect of ancestral human life. They worked for their food, and I don't mean sat in a cubicle to get a paycheck to spend on groceries. I mean they expended calories to obtain food. They hunted, and sometimes came back empty-handed. They dug, climbed, rooted around, and gathered. They walked, ran, stalked, jumped, lifted. Therefore, a lot of movement was involved. In short, they experienced energy deficits on a regular basis. Without energy deficits, you remain in fed mode and never quite hit the fasted mode required for autophagy. Now, compare that ancestral food environment to the modern food environment. Almost no one goes hungry. Food is cheap and plentiful, with the tastiest and most calorie-rich stuff tending to be the cheapest and most widely available. Few people have to physically work for their food. We drive to the store and walk a couple of hundred steps, hand over some money, and boom! Obtain 30,000 calories just like that. Or someone comes to our house and delivers the food directly. We got Uber Eats, Postmates, DoorDash, and other food delivery services. Plus, we eat all the time. Unless you set out to do it, chances are you'll be grazing, snacking, and nibbling throughout the day. We're in a perpetually fed state. It just means that figuring out how to trigger autophagy becomes that much more vital for modern humans. Here are 6 ways how to get the most out of autophagy. 
Number 1. Lower your carb intake There's a great way to activate autophagy without foregoing your favorite ribeye, though you'll probably need to quit candy. It's called ketosis. The idea is to reduce carbohydrates to such low levels that the body has no choice but to use fat as a fuel source. This is the magic behind the wildly popular ketogenic diet. Keto diets are high in fat and low in carbs. Steak, bacon, and peanut butter shakes are a bonus for the keto crowd. Between 60 and 70% of your overall calories come from fat. Protein makes up to 20 to 30% of calories, while only 5% come from carbs. Being in ketosis can help people lose body fat while retaining muscle. There's some evidence that it also may help the body fight cancerous tumors, lower the risk of diabetes, and protect against brain disorders, particularly epilepsy. In fact, in a 2018 study, rats fed on a keto diet had less brain damage during seizures. Number 2. Try Intermittent Fasting There is no better way to quickly and reliably induce a large energy deficit than not eating anything at all. One research review found that intermittent fasting in autophagy can make cancer treatments more effective while protecting normal cells and reducing side effects. Different variations of intermittent fasting seem to show pretty awesome health benefits. A review of this research concluded that it might have an array of positive effects, ranging from healthier body weight and lower risk of diseases to an increased lifespan. If that's not enough, have you ever heard of the famous mouse study? Intermittent fasting was shown to improve cognitive function, brain structure, and neuroplasticity, which is fancy speak for the brain's ability to reorganize and rebuild itself. In the meantime, give fasting a shot, and you don't have to learn it the hard way. Because in my ebook, All About Fasting, The Ultimate Guide to Intermittent Fasting, I've got the right fasting strategy for you that will allow you to avoid the biggest fasting mistakes. By using the code AAF5, you get $5 off the ebook. Be sure to check out the link in the description. Number 3. Exercise regularly In case the sweating, grunting, and post-workout pain didn't tip you off, here's the deal. Exercise puts stress on your body. Working out actually damages your muscles, causing microscopic tears that your body then rushes to heal. This makes your muscles stronger and more resistant to any further stress you might cause them. Regular exercise is the most popular way people unintentionally help their bodies cleanse themselves. So, there's actually something to that fresh, renewed feeling you get after working out. In a 2012 study, scientists found something interesting. The rate at which the mice were healthily demolishing their own cells drastically increased after running for 30 minutes on a treadmill. The rate continued to increase until the little guys had been running for 80 minutes. Before I continue, I have a small request. Videos on my channel take considerable time to make because I want to create the best content for you and other viewers. If you can hit the like button, it really helps the channel. And if you want to see more informative videos like this, tap the subscribe button so you won't miss my weekly videos. Number 4. Hot and Cold Exposure Exposing yourself to both hot and cold temperatures can stress your cells and promote autophagy. Several research have found that heat stress triggers autophagy and stimulates the autophagic process. Autophagy and the heat shock response are also tightly linked. Researchers have found that cold exposure induces neuronal autophagy, and they believe it can reduce the risk of neurodegenerative diseases. Research also shows that switching back and forth between cold and hot can induce autophagy. So, how does this translate into everyday life? Try switching back and forth between hot and cold in the shower, or spend time in the sauna or steam room, and then take a cold shower. Cold plunges, cold baths, and cryotherapy are some other ways to expose yourself to cold. Number 5. Drink coffee At least in mice, both caffeinated and decaffeinated coffee induces autophagy in the liver, muscle tissue, and heart. This effect persists even when the coffee is given alongside ad libitum food. These mice didn't have to fast for the coffee to induce autophagy. Certain nutrients can trigger autophagy too. Number 6. Eat turmeric Curcumin, the primary phytonutrient in turmeric, is especially effective at inducing autophagy in the mitochondria, also known as mitophagy. Number 7. Consume extra virgin olive oil. The anti-cancer potential of its main antioxidant, olirapine, likely occurs via autophagy. Eating some turmeric probably won't flip a switch and trigger autophagy right away, but it won't hurt. Here's the bottom line. Autophagy is a long game. This can't be underscored enough. 
Autophagy is a lifelong pursuit attained by regular doses of exercise and not overeating every time you sit down to a meal. Staying so ketotic, your pee tests look like a Prince album cover, doing epic 7-day fasts every month, fasting every other day, making sure you end every day with fully depleted liver glycogen. While these strategies might be effective, Obsessing over their measures to hit some optimal level of content autophagy isn't the point and is likely to activate or trigger neurotic behavior. Autophagy is important. It's good to have some happening. That's what we have to go on. How do you plan to induce autophagy in your daily lifestyle? Let us know in the comments. If you have any more questions about autophagy, leave them down below and I'll be sure to respond to them. Want to watch another health video? Click that video on your right.